is the uncovering of sexual crimes and youth. Um, uh, I, I suspect, I haven't done the research yet, but I suspect that to the degree that it, it um, actively seeks out a, a historic offences, offences from a long time ago, yes, it is unique or certainly very un unusual. <coughs> We've seen precedent in war crimes trials where, of course, around the world, um, Nazi Germany and uh, Cambodia and elsewhere, people are being sought out for very, very old offences, like the, the um, bookkeeper recently in the German trial who got quite a substantial um, trial, uh, sentence for having simply been the bookkeeper at, was it Auschwitz or Birkenbach? I can't remember. So there's some, there is some pattern of occasionally looking at a particular type of crime and, and seeking out historic cases. Historic sex cases, I think, um, unusual. Um, why has that come about? Is it all to do with Jimmy Savile? Not sure. But I think what's going to be very interesting, and, and I wrote my summary for the program before I read an article last week uh, about um, the famous liberal barrister who's just turned 100, Jeremy, I know his name perfectly well, who defended, who represented all sorts of people and who brought cases against a woman called Mary Whitehouse, who was the great champion of anti-libertarianism and who was ridiculed by everyone. Um, and I, along with me, I'm sure I ridiculed her and, and completely favoured the love generation and all the freedoms that, that were supposed to come with it. But um, as this article about this very great English barrister dared to say at the end of it, well, yes, defending all these liberal causes was good and great, but... Um, when he defeated Mary Whitehouse, do we not now actually have to ask ourselves the serious question, had she been right and he wrong, or had she been right and his clients wrong, would we have had the same level of um, indulgence by young people in extreme porn on uh, internet sites that may, don't have much evidence on the point, that may lead to corrupted mature years in those young people and to further crimes. And without becoming a Puritan, and I don't think it's in my nature, uh, or without the society returning to any form of Puritanism, you may find, or we may find in uh, years to come, that people will be slightly less enthusiastic about the wholesale embrace of complete sexual freedom manifested in both behaviour but in the ability to write books and screen films and so on. Um, because some of the very behaviour that uh, is being the subject of criminal prosecutions may itself have been uh, the unhappy consequences of those freedoms. Unhappy not, of course, for the people who've been convicted, whose convictions I have to accept are right and whose punishments I have to accept must be served, but unhappy for their victims. If we didn't live in a society of developing sexual libertarianism, would Jimmy Savile have been allowed to get away with what he got away with? Don't know. Possibly not. If the answer's not, was it such a good thing? <laughs>